Welcome everyone to our Chaos App Ecosystem Working Group meeting. Today is February the 8th. We shared the Google Doc with the minutes and already typed in our roll call. Now we are going on to the agenda. The first thing we wanted to discuss are the action items from last week. And I feel like the, <laughs> the first thing I didn't do, adding a link on the slash media page to our blog post. So not done yet. It's so easy. I, I don't know why I haven't done that yet. So I'll carry that forward. Add a link, so Nuritzi, add a link on your GitHub, on our GitHub repo, read me to what we... That's done, right? I remember seeing you on yeah. GitHub. Yeah. Let me share my screen so everyone can see, uh, even on the recording, what we are talking about. So this is the agenda notes and we are going to this pull request. And I feel like I reviewed it and I merged it. So that's done. Mm -hmm. So now when we go here, reports and progress completed, we have the event organizer and the related blog post, which goes to opensource.com, which is amazing. Awesome, so that's done. Yes. I'll cross it out. Um, and I had the action item to cross post the blog post on chaos. I'm apparently lagging, I haven't done that yet. And then Nuritsi, you wanted to coordinate with Sri and Neil on writing an experience report on implementing recommendations Yes, and, and I created the doc, and that's about it. So uh, <laughs> that is still in progress. What's the Except next? write it. <laughs> write the report. <laughs> oh, basically fantastic. not done. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, is this link? Yeah. The, yeah, that's a document. Exactly. Document you created? <clears throat> Oh, so it does have some stuff in it. It's just that we haven't actually like started to write it. <laughs> um, and one, this reminds me that uh, you had mentioned, Georg, that um, Chaos has a Google Drive, so we may want to transfer ownership to Chaos. I'm very happy to do that. Um, I don't know if I should do that now or later, but I'd be yeah, happy to a, transfer. We'll oh, okay. Oh, wow, ahead of me. Okay, <laughs> I'll wait for that point then. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, great. Thank you for moving the experience report forward. And then action item for me was create a document for the next um, persona we wanted to do, promotions and communications, which I created the document. I put the goal C at the top that we had decided on. And this is where we can start working today. Hi, Shri. Hi, Shri. Oh. Hello. Sorry, I'm late. And thanks for the reminder. <laughs> no worries. We were thinking if this time doesn't work for you anymore, we would look for a new time. No, it's fine. It's I, I, I have a more aggressive schedule, and sometimes I get focused on what it is. So, um, no, it's fine. I just need to make something pop up on my screen. <laughs> I'm not yeah. getting that. So, um, my my attendance at all meetings have been kind of sketch. So, yep, that's all right. Well then, 
what we discussed before we start the meeting of possibly looking for a new time is out the door, out the window. We're not doing that. Perfect. So um, chaos created a Gmail account, chaosproject at gmail.com for having a place that all chaos related documents can live and survive. Um, here I can show you what it looks like. Drive. So in this chaos Google Drive, I created an app ecosystem working group folder and I already transferred the documents that I owned. Um, and the way you would see if you want to do that, the way I did it is here. I'll do it with this one. Oh, it's already owned by. Anyway, you, you add the chaos project at gmail.com as an editor, and then you can change the ownership to it. That's how it works. Yes, project. Okay, I'll try to do that. Chaos project. So I added the editor, and then when you click on here, you should, as the owner, you should be able to have an option of make owner or something. I'll add myself because then I'm not an anonymous animal in typing. Oh no. Okay, so Oh, what in the world? So when I try to change the owner, it says uh, it can only be transferred to somebody else in the organization. This okay. might be because I started it with my GitLab one. Another idea could be that we copy this over and deprecate this and then just keep going. Yeah, it's probably the easiest. Good idea. I'll create a copy right now. Okay. Um, and then we'll need to update the links in GitHub and also in the Google Calendar invite. And what we can do is I'll write deprecated on this and we can have a link to the current notes. Yep. Oops, sorry. I'll wait until you're finished copying it. I'm done. You're done? Here's okay. the new link. Great. So let's put this um, deprecated. Okay. And I'll just put this here. Oops. These notes have been deprecated. Uh, please find the current notes and then we'll put a link to that there. Do you mind putting the link to the notes in this doc? Um, where? Up where at the very it? top. Do you see I have like, I'm gonna put this in red. These notes have been deprecated at the very top. I don't see it. Underneath the title. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong. Oh, yeah. So I was looking at that this exactly. Oh, I was moving the other document. <laughs> you uh, deprecated okay. our notes. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. We'll move the notes over. Uh, okay. I, yes. 
What was the other one that you were looking at? Sorry. Oh, the blog post. Okay. <laughs> yes, sorry. I maybe I should no have paid more attention. Okay, reopen in chaos. Now I'm making a copy. Yeah. I think for meeting minutes, we have a separate folder here. I'll share it with the same people. And then all I need to do is remove the deprecated exactly. thing. Mm -hmm. oh. And here's the new link. Cool. Thank you. Great. Um, okay. Awesome. And then one thing that we wanted to do is archive older notes. Um, so in the meeting minutes, I created a folder for 2020 where I copied all of the notes up to January, during January. Um, and then that way we can Purge the 2021 um, document and make it faster to load. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, what I'm going to do here is remove everything that is older. Maybe I even share this so anyone with the link can view but not change. That way they are archived, archived. And I am looking at our um, page on GitHub. We have a single thing that says meeting notes. Should we have like meeting notes and then 2020, 2021 or something like that? So that we have links to the two documents there or should yes. we have a single one for the folder? I think it makes sense to have um... Yeah, separate one per year sounds more manageable. One per year, okay. Sure, so I'll create a pull request with that. Okay, so meeting notes. I deleted our January meeting. Okay. Now we have January, February. Document management. Yeah, never been easy. <laughs> but it's good to do it so that it doesn't pile up all at once. So I think they were. This and so you're time. creating a pull request now for the repo? Yeah, exactly. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. Almost done. If you can update the um, meeting invite, that would be super helpful. Oh, yes. I will. This is our new document. I'm just going to stop sharing my screen. How do I do that? <clears throat>
<laughs> oh, this is fun. Calendars. All right, pull a request created. I'll put it in our notes. Um, maybe meanwhile I'm doing this, Neo, do you mind reviewing my merge request? Oops. I'll put it here or, or sure. free somebody. I will put it in the um, Zoom chat. And I just saw that it, the comment by Frias, by the way, about standardizing working groups, the issue. Don't know if you saw that one. Oh, no, I didn't. Sharing that key. is for the working groups that create metric definitions, so it should not affect us. I, so I need to reply, let them know. We should close it as invalid. Um, yeah, let me respond to him since I'm his mentor. Cool. And Shri, meanwhile, do you think you can take a look at what I've written down here, I'm going to put in the Zoom chat. Um, it's a, a blog post. And um, Bjorg, are, for, the, for the blog post, is it okay if we continue to work in that document? Okay, cool. So I'm just going to- The new that one or the one thing. that I created? Or uh, the one that I created. Oh, or yeah. Do you want it to be, okay, so I'm just going to remove that note that you've created a new document. This, this is the- this is the metrics follow-up blog post. Yes, uh, exactly. Last one. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm on it now. Yeah. So if you can take a look at the questions to answer, like that's kind of uh, where I'm beginning of like what should we be answering in this. The idea was that we would create a follow-up saying like, okay, we've like created these metrics as part of this working group, but then when we actually tried to implement it into Linux App Summit, we ran into these challenges because of the tools we used or like maybe the timing, we decided to do a post uh, survey instead of uh, getting this stuff at the beginning with registration. Yeah, it's like, like that. did we do pre-planning? Did we integrate ourselves with the- Yeah, with the, exactly. Uh, uh, thank you, yeah, sure. I, I can write a couple of things. Okay. So, um, and of course we have May coming up. So this is our opportunity to-, to Exactly, to prepare yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I understand your, I understand your my thoughts on that. So, yeah. cool. Um, Jorg, I I added some uh, action items in the discuss ownership policy bullet point. Um, so the update calendar invite. Is there anywhere else we need to update? Like maybe in Elizabeth's, uh, like emails or something. I don't know. I will ping Elizabeth, let her know. I, yeah. Good thing you're thinking ahead three steps than I do. <laughs> no problem. 
I think on our website. Um, yeah. we link to the minutes. Hopefully, I these questions are within the scope. Mm -hmm. I see them as retro. Some of them it seems retrospective, but I mean, like the initial ones. But then I, I decided to add some more forward thinking, thinking ones as well. Shall we go back to the persona document for things still pending? I just created the PR for um, updating the minutes document on our website. So I'm ready to uh, go back to what we wanted to work on the rest of this meeting, the persona. Oh yeah, speaking of metrics, Neo, I, I, I was hoping I, have, I can have a chat with you later. Sure. Uh, Wanna talk more about metrics without <laughs> us? <gasps> well, the the metrics is around, um, I don't know if it's in scope, but it, it's about testing. So I, Katie last year was working on metrics for testing, Q&A testing, using Kiwi, T 
TCMS and I had a conversation with them over FOSDEM because I'm looking to use it as well. So again, it, it does follow the, um, the general idea of moving towards a, a um, metrics driven organization. So that's, that's why I own it. <laughs> I mean, we have, what we have discussed so far doesn't include that. It's so that's why I was trying to take it out. I, I don't because it will just distract us from. I'm trying to be better at not putting rando, rando stuff into it. But um, because I'm, I'm I'm doing an initiative for extensions, right? So uh, when this release happens, we're gonna have a lot of broken stuff, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna build metrics. That feeds into the general engine that we have. We discuss here. We just have. We just that experience can can add to this later. But it's sort of a side thing. So it answers the uh, questions of reliability, right? So that's that is that's what I'm trying to deal with. Cool. Uh, really quickly, because I saw that Neo approved the pull request. Um, what is best practice here at GitLab? We're not able to merge our own merge request, so. I can't merge it. Not to? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I was about to. Somebody asked me that yesterday. Or I said, for trivial things, you could just merge it yourself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if you're like trying to correct a spell check or something, it's when you add new content, like, you know, that needs a review. But if you're trying to fix a typo, you know, I just approve it. <laughs> we trust it. <laughs> yep. Here in Chaos, I've, we have discussed it a couple times. It just, not worth the overhead to make a rule that you cannot merge your exactly. own pull request. We're so, adults, right? You know, it's like best judgment. And as long as we don't have an issue with it, we're gonna keep it open for everyone. Besides, you can always reject the merge request later and take it out, right? It's not like yep. it's a one-way trip and that's it. You know? <laughs> That's the nice thing about having version control. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> All right, so um, let's go into the persona, promotions and communications team. I'll put the link in the chat. Yeah. In case we don't have one. I think it works really well when you share your screen so that everyone can see it. Do you mind doing that or? Certainly, always happy to share this. Thank you. I really hate the fact that Zoom will do a full screen without my permission. Because I'll you be can change that on, in the settings. Okay, because I'll be working on a document and it'll full screen. And I'll be like, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's one of the first settings that I changed. <laughs> it's like, dare you disrespect me. <laughs> 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 I wish I could make that edit the settings change for you, but you have to go to your own settings. <laughs> okay. That should so be let's just refresh here. <laughs> so let's shift gears. Let's get back into personas. They read a list of different people in our communities who have different goals in mind and different questions for. Well, we haven't defined the questions yet, but the goals here that we had, and we organized these last time, high level goals is what we want to know the health of the community as part of our promotions and communications team, because we want to retain contributors and want to understand the whole of the Epic system individual components. So then we also need to be able to drill down to project level. Yeah. As part of the promotions and communications team, we also need to identify the diversity and inclusion of our projects. 
because that can guide our promotions efforts. And we have a goal to understand the collaboration level in our community. We also are interested in making it easy for companies to choose our project software as a dependency. So advertise for our project. This means we need to understand business risk in the project or what people perceive to be business risk of using our project. We may need to identify dependencies and understand company contribution, which we can use greatly to advertise, hey, we're an awesome place, all of these companies are already contributing, or, oh, companies are not contributing, or only in this area, so we can adjust our communication style. And we added one last time that we didn't have originally, a goal to reach, to understand the reach of communication, how effective they are, like click-through rate, number of actions, et cetera, typical marketing metrics. Enough of a refresher or was there anything else? Yeah, I think that's great. So one thing that is currently breaking our, um, our, our typical flow of things is that we have goals and sub goals. We have not had that before. So if you have any ideas on how to resolve that, um, I think that is one of the things that's at least me blocking right now. Uh, okay. Can you refresh, remind us how the goal question metrics thing, okay, so what we did, since we've only done this once, <laughs> I'm like a little bit uh, rusty on it. So yeah. Goal question metric, right. And so the question is, can, can, like how, can we do a sample one together and then maybe like just for number nine since that's a standalone and then maybe we can think about how to do the other ones that have sub goals. That's a good idea, yeah. So identify the diversity and inclusion of our projects. So a question could be how many women participate in our project. And then the metric could be yeah. number of women who contributed code in the last 90 days. And data would be, I don't know if we have a contributor file, contributor log plus survey or something like that. Mm. Okay, got it. Okay, I mean that, yeah, that sounds like a good one. Um, so, should we just continue to do this and then do the sub goal, or like think about how to do the sub goal ones? Is that what we're doing? Sure. Okay. Well, the sub goals could easily switch into questions, I guess. That's a good idea. I missed that. Sorry, Neil. Can you repeat that? Yeah, I was saying that the goals, the sub goals actually could easily switch into questions if yeah. we want to approach it like that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, 
Um, I'm totally making this up. But that's how we created last time. Just make stuff up what seems Yeah, to be I was time. just thinking how you how you count contributors that stop contributing. I mean I, I don't even know how to measure. I don't I mean there, there's a tracking problem there, right? It's like it in, informs that we have some kind of way to and we that's do have hard, right? GitLab commits, right? No, I see. I don't think commits does is commit uh, a way to because non uh, coding folks, right? They there's no way to track them. Yeah, of uh, course. Uh, well, I mean that could be a thing. So maybe we separate this into code contributions into like different types of contributions, and there's like a way to measure each of those because maybe for docs or UX, it might be something different too. Could me, be wiki edits or something like that. Let me, let me see if I did something. I, I, we, I do the scalable onboarding meeting. Yep. And so we did a bunch of stuff for that. For many people contributing is just responding or participating in matrix chats, right? Or telegram chats or things like that. I mean, or emails, mailing lists. So. so we are at time. No, we, oh. we just got started. No. Yeah, the, the exciting <laughs> part just got started. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so I think that's a good point to start next week now that we have the administrative out of the way. Yeah. So I have a, um, uh, I have a, roles and descriptions that I did uh, for GNOME that I'll post on the, the chaos chat. It, it basically okay. goes through every kind of contributor uh, for the project. And, um, and then uh, it, it, it's just a way to figure out who's doing what, right? And, and put a label on it. And then we could go through that and see how you would, how would you measure Measure that. each. Yeah. yeah. Can you put that also in our notes doc, Shri? That could be a good place to start next week as well. Sure. Uh, awesome. Okay. okay. Uh, is it under GQM? Uh, uh, where do I? Uh, yeah, here, let me share the note stock again with you. And it I'm looking is. At, yeah, I'm looking at the at WG meeting agenda notes. Okay, so if you scroll down, Georg is writing work on new persona at the very bottom right before January 25th. You can also click on his little person icon in the top right, and it'll go to where he is. Oh, uh, okay. That I got these stupid pop-ups that showing up. Okay, <laughs> it's like go away. Uh, okay, so mission. Mm -hmm. I'm at the working group, and then I'm going down. I see the next meeting, February twenty second, in the February eight. Is that where you want it? Yeah, Thank you. February eighth. Yep, at the very bottom. Okay. Where it says work on new persona. Okay, got it. Uh, Perfect. Go. Uh, Great. Yeah, go through that. The and then we that should be easily portable to Katie. Uh, and uh, yeah, so Other communities. We, I also did a I also did a interaction map. Mm -hmm. uh, that inter That's really cool. How everybody interacts with everybody mm -hmm. helps. Um, it's very hard to read, but it, <laughs> we we try to we try to do figure out how to you know how do people talk to each other, right? It was one of yeah, the yeah, that's parts. awesome. So it's really good. Awesome. Well, thank you. All right. Yep. Yeah. See you, everybody. We're getting Bye. back into the flow. Bye. See you in two weeks. <laughs> yes. Bye. Bye. Good evening, everyone. Good evening.